All right, so Substance Designer actually has a pretty good baker, but there's not a lot of videos talking about how to access this thing, so that's why I'm making this video. But uh, before we go over there, I want to go ahead and talk about these models here in Blender, and specifically the low poly here. Let's take a quick look at it. So when it comes to baking, just keep in mind where you place your seams and how you lay out your UV maps is extremely important. In this case, I have every edge, for the most part, beveled, and I got a seam running down the middle. Okay, so three edges total. And um, that's going to be the low poly, right? On top of that, the um, setup here is it's shaded auto smooth. Um, I actually have it cranked out, but basically when you apply a weighted normal modifier, if you don't check keep sharp and you have enough supporting geometry, it will hold the shading pretty well. Uh, you don't need it necessarily, but I do max it out to 100, then triangulate it, keep normal. So that's it. Okay, it's not a big deal there. Okay, on the, um, the high poly, I did the same thing basically because it's really just more bevels on it. And um, this is going to make it look a little bit nicer when it bakes. So with that in mind, we can actually copy these real quick. I'm going to export them as uh, FBX files, selected object only to the desktop. So this will be the high. And um, this one will, in fact, now become well, the low. I guess I just saved it, whatever. Okay. Go ahead and put out the low. And then we'll head over to Designer now. And in Designer, it's kind of easy to like miss this baker because it's kind of hidden a little bit. The way it works is in your Explorer tab here. You can uh, right-click, do a new package. You'll see you have your new package. Now you can do uh, right-click, link 3D mesh. Okay. Uh, link the low poly here and click open. You can see the low here. Right-click that and bake model information. Okay. And this is the baking window. So now this is a lot more kind of a traditional baking window um, from a lot of other programs and it's basically the same baker that's inside a substance painter but I, I do believe it has a few options that um, it doesn't have that you'll find quite useful so uh, we're going to go ahead and set this up by adding the high poly model from file you see here on high okay you can also use low as high change your resolutions around the file format uh, change anti-aliasing if you need to and also use different uv space which is nice uh, you can add bakers. In this case, we're just doing a normal map for mesh. Okay. And uh, since we're going to go back into Blender, I'm going to go ahead and swap this over to OpenGL. Uh, but you'll see all the stuff laid out here, like so. Now you can also change the naming convention here. Right. You can see it's using cube low normal map. Okay. So that's the, the naming convention that's going to end up using. But you can get, you can set it up differently. Just basically pick these and copy them over there and type them in or whatever you got to do. And uh, you can set distances with values, but you can also use a cage. Cool. All right. And so um, output method, you can use embedded, so it stays in the substance project, but we're using linked, and we're actually outputting to the desktop. So we'll go over there right away. And uh, you can do matching by mesh name, always, just like painter, and um, also skew correction. So you can use a skew correction map, which is cool. All right, dilation with apply diffusion and, and um, average normals and all that fun stuff's right there. Okay, and so this is actually really useful if you're working in Painter and maybe you want additional um, maps you want to kind of put into your model. So something like maybe you did a high to low poly bake in Painter, but you wanted the low poly um, maybe an occlusion on top of everything, right? So you could do that technically, and, and you could do that over here. So um, baking just the low poly right all right so everything's set up let's go ahead and just click start render you'll see it goes through its thing real quick not a big deal it's very fast and uh, it works out cool right so we can go back over to blender now because it's exported it already and we'll take the low poly here put it shading create a new material with the node wrangler add-on enabled you can grab the main shader hit Control shift t and you can just grab the maps you need and it principled setup right okay it's going to do this number right here like this it's all set up now and so if we were to hit z over here do material preview you can see um, if we go ahead and bump up the metallic here probably do it over here too bump it up to one turn the roughness down okay so now we can see what's going on with our um, our setup here so this is no normal map and that's with the normal map so it gets a little bit tighter a little bit of aliasing in here but it's not too bad um, certainly is in my opinion a better look uh, not much but it's a nice little change there anyways 
So that's the designer baker. Hope you enjoyed checking it out. Maybe you can put it to full use now and um, you'll know where to find it, right? Anyways, I'll check you out in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Take care, all right?